Hi, I'm Haley. Hello, I'm Dan. And today I want to be used and abused together or separately. Um, so I'm making a show about the relationship artists have with money and how the money they get affects their sense of artistic identity. And I would really love as many people as possible to record a very short sentence basically saying what they imagine they want funders or commissioners to, for them to say. Does that make sense? But I'm also up for working with other people, so that's just an idea if people want to jump in. I think that's my minute. I would like to try and experiment uh, about the project I was thinking, so about the places, the cases, the interception of cases and all of this, but I'm also available to, to work if someone else needs me. I really need people to make this experiment work. So I really would like to do my experiment. I really need you, uh, at least two people, but just as an audience interactive. So that's really what I need, and I will do it. So what I would really love is for anyone who wants to, to record to camera um, what they imagine funders, producers, commissioners want them to say when they put themselves forward. So I, I want it to seem as if I'm offering my services as your personal techno bitch, but actually what I'm doing is trying to um, test out the technology for my own evil purposes. Uh, is to explore using kind of smartphone technology um, in performances. Right, yes. Who? Yes. Precisely. Yeah. Right. So my project is about the automation, automation of society, and how computer algorithms are used more and more in society. And what I would like to test out today uh, ties in what we did this morning and also a little bit with this question, um, which is I'm really interested in future algorithms that uh, will be used through CCTV cameras to read our body language and alert authorities before crime happens. And I would like to look at almost like a physical hacker. How would we trick the CCTV camera that thinks that they can read our emotions. So if you got into a fight, would you make it look like a hug? If you were having an argument, would you do it laughing? How would you trick the machine that tries to read your mind? That's what I would love to explore with some people. Thank you. So if I'm kind of putting myself on the edge, I would say I would need a body, um, or two, maybe, to work with me, uh, to make two or three bodies together, to explore a conversation about, um, maybe with some pieces of, little pieces of text that we could invent or grab, um, to explore what that, ma that word male is going on for you. Maybe right now, maybe today. Maybe what's going on for you in the room or right now today and to work with me on making a short performance piece about that. Uh, either sex is good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, uh, I desperately need your help to develop my uh, potentials or my, <laughs> uh, how can I be a mind reader? So how can I um, uh, say what, for example, Jad is thinking right now? How could I say here what you're thinking right now? Can you help me to do that? Hello again. Uh, yeah, so my uh, kind of project is kind of tied now into Stuart's a bit, where I want to reimagine one of the, uh, the, the tarot card type things and create uh, a kind of game-like immersive environment um, through like using my like, laptop and the Kinect sensor and maybe 3D record some of the uh, you guys' actors. Um, but we're working on one specific card, uh, so... It, it, it's a picture, but it's got a story behind it, and we're not quite sure what that's going to be yet, but I want to create an immersive virtual world out of that one card. So, we, yeah, need extra help as well. 
Uh, so I want to do two things. Um, I want to explore this question of mind reading with as many people as possible. Um, I also want to focus uh, on one of the cards, this deck of cards I've described, um, all of the what you could call court cards are either real people or fictional characters that the Surrealists chose. And one of them is Helen Smith, who was a, a medium who was psychoanalyzed in 1900, who could not only talk to the dead, but she could talk to Martians and the people who live on Uranus and people who live on the other side of Mars who speak ultra-Martian. Um, so I want to explore that story and how to tell it. <laughs> I want to tell what I know of her story to people mm -hmm. who, who have experience in telling stories on stage so they can tell me what they think the interesting bits are and how to structure that story. That's the kind of expertise I'd like. Cool. Okay, that's okay. Thank you. All right. Okay.